with me, I'm quite fortunate enough to be joined by the Mexican warrior, Jamie Conlon. Welcome to New York. Oh, good, Jay. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? So, not bad. Your face is healed up pretty quick since Saturday. Brilliant fight against, for yourself against Cardozo. Good, good win. Yeah, you look all right. Yeah, I feel good. I'm enjoying um, New York, eating nice, some nice food, nice Italian food. I love it in Italian food, so it's brilliant. I'm struggling to think of two brothers headlining two shows on Box Nation simultaneously, back to back. Can you can you think of anyone else that's done that achievement? No, no, I don't think it's really been done before, and it's kind of only settling in now how big a deal that, that it actually is and how much we're we're progressing in our careers and doing doing good things. It's it's fantastic to be about. Your fight week last week, we enjoyed it. It was well documented. We're now in New York for the second inst installation of the Conlon family. How do you see Michael Conlon's debut playing out tomorrow? I just think it's going to be a, a nice camp and um, executed performance. Uh, he, he's been working on th certain things now since he's turned from amateur to professional. And I'm just looking for him to, to implement them and, and, and show his, his class and his skill, but also show his destruction and, and, and get the job done pretty in an emphatic fashion. Um, the crowd are, are baying for blood, so he, he's going to be he's going to be a man looking to perform. You mentioned the crowd. There's been all kinds of snowstorms here. We've had all kinds of snow settling, but the Irish fans and Belfast fans in particular have come out here in droves. It's actually heaving with Irish, isn't it? It's unreal. The, the plane over, I came over on Monday. The plane over was just full, and everyone, not everyone, but most people on the plane were talking about what they were coming to see, and they were coming to see him on Friday. Um, Friday night uh, and the do his thing and, and enjoy St Patrick's Day weekend have a drink and watch Michael Cameron is what the whole thing was, leave the fight in the Cameron He's been well documented what happened after the Olympics his middle finger has probably been as, as famous as his face for the last few weeks do you think this is a chance for his boxing to take centre stage? Yeah I think it's, it's what he's, he's wanted to do from, from the get go since Rio was done since all the, the hype was kind of signing with top rank and, and the, the date had been announced He's been, he been itchy knuckles since, since then. Now he's just settling into his home. This is his new home in America. He, he's, he's relocated, so at their parts ticked off, now it's just about fighting. Just about showing what he's been doing all his life and perfecting what he's been taught since he was a little boy. Do you get more nervous watching your brother fight than you do sort of teeing off yourself? He, no matter what, in my eyes, he's the best fighter in the world. And I still get, I'm, I'm 10 times more nervous than I am. Um, whatever I am when I'm fighting because it's out of your control and in the end of the day no matter how good he is he's still my little brother and uh, you, you have the protective instinct of looking out for your little brother and not wanting anything that the bad happen to him so yeah I do I, I get very very nervous very kind of agitated but when I'm around I like to be around him he likes me in the change room I don't show nerves or anything I have to show kind of that I'm, I'm full behind him of belief and I do you do have you get that sense of confidence when you're with him but though when you go and you sit back in your seat and you have to sit back and watch you, yeah, you do feel um, the nerves kick in a bit and and stuff like that. And it's it just agitated because you can't get in there and help me. You have to just sit back and, and let him do his thing. Certainly an exciting time here in New York this week. Just talking to Bob Arum now, he's got such high hopes for your brother Michael Collin in the future. So we could see the start of something really special here tomorrow. Well, you can't really name anyone else. Maybe Oscar De La Hoya, who had a professional debut like this. The media attention for a professional debut, tapping the bill in Madison Square Garden on your debut, doing a six-rounder. It's unheard of. You have you have the Olympic Olympic um, gold medalist, Robinson Kansai Sao, on his undercard. Like, the same Olympics. He was the, the star of the Olympics in, in Brazil, the Brazilian gold medalist in Brazil, and he's on your undercard. Uh, you have, uh, fighters like uh, Sacedo and... and and stuff like that on the undercard of, of a guy from from Ireland fighting in New York. This is this is unheard of. This is what showing what top rank are putting into him. This shows his caliber and his class and what they expect and what they they think that he will pr pr produce in his career. And the way he's talking, he, he talks with so much um, belief, so much promise, so much intent that you have to kind of just go, okay, yeah, I do believe everything you're saying. He seems he's going to be three, four weight world champion. Uh, no one speaks like that. No, especially back home in Ireland, no one speaks with so much vigor, so much confidence. You, you know, what I mean, you're, you're always taught to kind of play it down a bit. He's standing up and playing it out. He's he's different. He's different from me. He's different from everyone else. He's he's a new breed of fighter, and I think he's 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 going to be the face of boxing in Ireland and hopefully the face of world boxing in a few years' time. Jamie Collin, thank you very much for talking to the Casanova Show. Great pleasure to get you on. Enjoy New York. And um, I'm glad to see you on this side of the ropes for a change, not sort of 
getting getting in the mix. As long as no one throws a left hook or a right hand at me, I'm happy. That's all that matters. I wouldn't advise doing that for yeah. sure. <laughs> I'll get up. Hundred <laughs> percent get up. Yeah, Top nice man, one. Jamie. Cheers, Jay. Nice very much. Versus Jacobs, middleweight madness. Saturday, March 18th.